another shot here in the rock. Our house, Coach Roberts talked about it, our place, okay? It has zero to do with who we're playing. It has zero to do with the scoreboard. It has to do with playing for each other six seconds at a time. The thing we've talked about all year, all right? What it's about, six seconds, not the score, not the team. It's about everything you put in. Six months of work until these few opportunities that we have, these few opportunities we have, right here. Don't let it slip by you. Don't let it go by. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the competitive spirit of getting a chance to play. To lay it all out there for your teammates. That's who you're doing it for. You're doing it for each other because you put in the work together. You put it in together. All of us. For these few opportunities, man. You got me? From start to finish. Nothing about the score. Nothing about who we're playing. It's about us. Always has been. Always will be. This edition of Southern Miss Sports Today with Todd Munkin is presented by Bancor South, right where you are. And brought to you in part by the City of Hattiesburg, a proud sponsor of Southern Miss Athletics, UPS. From figuring it out to getting it done, UPS is here to help. Hattiesburg Coca-Cola, want a taste of everything? Drink Coke Zero with real Coke taste and zero calories. We'll be back with this week in Southern Miss football right after this. Everybody, welcome back to Southern Miss Sports Today with Coach Todd Munkin, presented by Bank Corp South. Big win for the Golden Eagles on Saturday night at the Rock. They knock off North Texas 49 to 14 in the Eagles Conference USA opener. And uh, Todd, kind of a, a slow start, not a lot of points early on, but you finally uh, got it rolling pretty good, particularly there in the second half, and uh, walk away with a relatively easy win. Well, they took the ball first and uh, really marched the ball down the field and our defense did a great job on third down and, and forced them into a field goal situation which they missed and then we moved it a little bit but then we got a holding penalty didn't convert and uh, but our defense did a great job of keeping them out of the end zone even though they moved it which we knew they would and the offense just found a way uh, you know to make big plays and uh, obviously then we ended up going to halftime up 21 nothing. Another uh, game where you're over 500 yards in total offense. Really good mixture, though, of uh, runs and passes that sort of kept the North Texas defense off balance. It did. We ran it fairly well. And when we needed to run it at the end of the game, we did. You know, we did a few zone read things with our quarterbacks that added to that. But at the end of the game, I think, you know, probably a good 70 or 80 yards of that came, you know, when we needed to in the fourth quarter to really – end the game and we ended the game on offense being on the field which which is a good sign. Mike Thomas good ball game seven catches 155 yards uh, they had a tough time uh, finding an answer from keeping him getting the football the other night. Well it's good design by our offensive coaches to find a way to get him the ball down the field. Mike uh, was relatively healthy for the first time since the first game was able to practice the whole week which he hadn't been missed the Austin P game so that showed great uh, great job by our coaches and obviously having him healthy uh, we're better able to keep uh, Nick Mullins from being under a lot of pressure. I don't remember him getting sacked in the ball game very few times that uh, that he have to move out of the pocket. So he had a lot of time to throw and the receivers were getting open. Offensive line did a great job. We really, we thought uh, the Roberts kid for them, number 30, who had four sacks would be a handful. They did a great job. Uh, we slid to him, our protection scheme. And those guys did a great job. Our receivers did a great job of uncovering early and, and Nick made uh, really quick decisions, got out of his hand. Their quarterback, uh, Andrew McNulty, has been off to a pretty good start this year, but Eagles put a lot of pressure on him. He didn't have much time to sit back there and look down the field. No, we, we knew, we thought coming into the game, I shouldn't say we knew, we thought coming into the game that if we could get him in passing situations, we had an advantage with our guys up front and our blitz schemes. If we could get in, in his face, get him out of that comfort of run pass, 
we'd have a chance to really harass him, create turnovers and sacks, and it, and it happened. And real quick, I thought a guy that uh, kind of stood out maybe quietly was Tyler Saracen, did a really good job with those rugby kicks, kept them pinned back when he had the punt the other night. He did, and our coverage team was great. We had that one that I wasn't sure if I was going to go for it or not. It was fourth down. You know, I think we're about the 35-yard line, maybe even closer than that. And I just tell you, you know what, let's see if we can get him pinned down. And he did a great job once on the four, once on the one. And so Tyler did a great job. Well, it was Southern Miss in North Texas on Saturday night. The Rock Eagles going to win it 49-14. to Let's go back and take a look at the highlights. Out of the shotgun, McNulty. Play action fake. Looking left, under pressure, chase to the right side, still looking, and still looking. He is going to be hit and going to be sacked. Back near the 30-yard line. Mullins takes the stamp, play action fake, swings at Ito, makes the catch right side. Ito at the 30, 35, breaks a tackle at the 40, and going to be run out of bounds down around the 45-yard line. A couple of guys in the backfield with McNulty, gives it to Jimerson again, tries right tackle, and he is wrestled down for a loss of another guard. McNulty takes the stamp, dropping the throw, under pressure, he's going to be sacked. Back inside the 25, the Eagles brought everybody, and Mike Smith wraps him up and brings him down back inside the 25 of the 24. Ito along his right side, Richard behind him, they'll throw it to Ito on the right flat. He makes the catch, 45-40, big hole, at the 30, 25, cuts back at the 20, cuts back in and gets it down to near the 15-yard line, a 30-yard catch and run by Ito Smith. Zach Whitfield, the cornerback, finally brings him down. A great just swing route by uh, Nick Mullins to Ito for a big game. Mullins with Richard along his right side, takes the snap, throws it in the end, they got a man caught by Mike Thomas, touchdown Southern Miss. Now Mike, simple pattern, just went down and cut across the back of the end zone, and Mullins hit him, and the Eagles take the lead. Third down, snap taken by McNulty, he drops the throw, going to be sacked back in North Texas territory. No chance that time. Bunch triangle formation to the right side, and the handoff up the middle to Ito, cuts it left side, 45-50, it's a foot race at the 40. They get him around the ankles and bring him down, just around the 30-yard line. Boy, Ito shot through there like he was shot out of a cannon, and uh, Kishon McLean finally brought him down. Shotgun formation, Richard in motion, Mullen's gonna throw it wide open, caught by Casey Martin, touchdown Southern Miss. Martin went down, fake to the inside, Cut back to the right side of that end zone. He was wide open. Mullins hits him, and the Golden Eagles lead at 13 to nothing. Another score by Take the snap, looking to throw. Under pressure, he's going to be sacked. Back around the 20. Another sack for the Golden Eagles. Play action fake to Hayes. Mullins will throw it long. Down the center field for Mike Thomas, who makes it. Catch going down. Here's Mullins now, barking his signals off the left hash. Takes a stamp and leaves it. Well, Mullins keeps it. Touchdown, Southern Miss. Put it in the belly of Hayes and pulled it back and went around the left side and scored untouched. Touchdown, Southern Miss. It is 20 to nothing, Golden Eagles. Takes a stamp. Play action fake. Rolls right. Throws it into the end zone. It is going to be intercepted by the Golden Eagles. He tried to force it in there, and it was uh, the Golden Eagles who got the interception. Cornell Armstrong. Smith takes the stamp of the shotgun. Now sprints out right, pulls up under pressure. Oh, he got sacked. He turned around and ran right into a Golden Eagle. That was Darian Yancey and Dylan Bradley who are right there. And the play action fake by Nick. Swings it out right side. Caught by Ito. Got a block in the corner. 25, 30, breaks the tackle. Ito at the 40 and bumped out of bounds finally. Up around the 46-yard line. He was about one block away from taking that one to distance. Zach Whitfield, the cornerback, knocked him out of bounds to save a touchdown. Mullins in that shotgun takes a stamp, drops to throw here. They come after him. He'll throw it left sidelines for Casey, who backs up and makes a catch. Eagles going to throw it. Mullins into the end zone. Caught for a touchdown. Southern miss. And the Golden Eagles back on the scoreboard. Mike Thomas in that left side of the end zone, one-on-one. -on -one. He broke to the outside, made a great catch. 
Thomas wide to the right side. Here's the flea flicker. Mullins throwing down the field, wide open. It's caught by the Golden Eagles, and Mike Thomas outraces everybody into the end zone. You couldn't have drawn it up any better than that. Three receivers sent. McNulty going to hand it off to Jimerson, who got caught by the ankles and brought down by Denarius Antoine. Receiver left side as well, and Mullins keeps it around the left side. And Nick cuts back in across the 50. Look at Nick run the football. Now Mullins takes a snap, leaves it with Ido, who fakes left, goes straight up the middle, and down to the five-yard line. Where did he come from? Mullins shotgun, takes a snap. Again to Ido, he's going to go in. Touchdown, Southern Miss. Ido Smith. Take the snap and keep it himself around the left side. Matthews on the move at the 40, 45, 50. Cuts back in and they bring him down. Matthews to Hayes who dances off the left side. He's in the open at the 20. Cuts back left sideline at the 10. Dives for the end zone but can't quite get in. What an effort by Justice Hayes. James Gray over there to help bring him down for North Texas. But they'll mark it down at the two yard line. Matthews takes the stamp, leaves it with Hayes, lowers his head, driving. Did he get in? No signal yet. How about the Golden Eagles? A 49-14 win tonight over the mean green of North Texas. The Eagles go to three and two on the gear. People ship all kinds of things. But what if that thing is a few hundred thousand doses of flu vaccine? That need to be kept at 41 degrees. While being shipped to a country where it's 90 degrees. In the shade. Sound hard? Yeah. Does that mean people in Laos shouldn't get their vaccine? We didn't think so. From figuring it out to getting it done. We're here to help. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for this prestigious award. I'd like to thank my friends and family. Coming, Mama. As I'm saying, I'd also like to thank my educators for all the donations. Without them, I couldn't do anything. And the winner of the first place award for small cities is Hattiesburg, Mississippi, for the education initiative. What are you doing back there, Haley? Feeling like a winner. And we're back, Southern Miss Sports Today with Coach Todd Munkin, presented by Bank Corp South. Time now to meet one of our Golden Eagle seniors, and today we're going to focus on Golden Eagle senior wide receiver Mike Thomas out of Chicago, Illinois, came to the Golden Eagles by way of Dodge City Community College. And Todd, here's the guys you said a few minutes ago who, who was a little banged up early, but he's uh, almost healthy again, or almost 100%, and had a big ball game against North Texas. But he's that type of receiver who can go out there and make the big catch for you. He sure is. He loves to play. Um, you'll see him out there throwing with Nick and Tyler in the offseason, working on his route running. So he's come a long way. You know, got here late in the summer a year ago, and uh, it was tough to see him injure his ankle and not be at full strength. But uh, when, he's, when he's rolling, he's, he's physical on the perimeter, good route runner, loves to compete, and we're a lot better when he's out there. What's the biggest uh, problem he causes for the opposition? Why is he such a tough matchup sometimes? Well, he's got good speed good ball skills, understands route running coverage. He just is, and he's only really even touched the surface. You know, he's pretty good after the catch. So the, all those things is um, that enables him to, to get open, make big plays, he believes in himself, confidence, and that's a bit, one of the biggest things probably is his confidence. Young man had a big ball game against North Texas with seven catches, 155 yards on Saturday. So let's spend a few minutes and meet up close and personal Golden Eagles senior wide receiver Mike Thomas. Mullins on first down, play action fake. Nick throws it left side for Mike Thomas who goes up and makes a catch inside the 20, down to near the 10. Well, what made me attracted to, you know, the Golden Eagles and what made me attracted to come here with Coach Monkey. Uh, I just thought about, you know, the tradition that Southern Miss bring, you know, where, which they hold. Because you know, I'm, I'm from Chicago, Illinois, so I never really heard about a lot of Mississippi schools. So once I heard about Southern Miss, I instantly thought about the history and the tradition they, they hold. So I just wanted to be a part of that. 
I fit in very well with the offense, you know, because I like the ball thrown to me. So it's, it, it wasn't nothing to it but to come here, you know, with Coach Monkey. The biggest challenge was the weather. Because coming from Chicago, it's, it don't get as hot out here as it do, you know what I'm saying, Chicago. So I just had to get used to the humidity, the weather. And once I got used to that, I know I'd be a beast on the field because if I can play in this weather, I can play anywhere. You know, in Chicago, it, it's not really a football city. You know, it's more of a, a, a basketball tradition city. And to be honest, what, what made me even start playing football was Chad Johnson, you know, watching him, you know, play for the Cincinnati Bengals. I just like how he do his craft, and he just inspired me to, to go hard at, at what I do. And he's just an inspiration that what made me start playing football, and I just took it and ran with it. Uh, what, what I tell the younger guys is take advantage of every opportunity you have, you know what I'm saying? Because we don't have, you know what I'm saying, as much stuff as the big schools have, so we have to use what we have and make it work. And it's just opportunity. Just take advantage of every opportunity. Work hard because it's going to show if you work hard or not. What makes a good return guy? It's studying, studying film, and, and, and know what you're about to get yourself into. Because, you know, I, I haven't, to be honest, I didn't play return in high school, or nor did I play kick return in junior college state. My first kick return touchdown was here. So it just felt good, you know what I'm saying? Because I watched film with Coach, you know what I'm saying? He told me to read the holes, read the blocks, and I just, it was a relief when I scored, so it was like, all right, now I know what to expect, now I know how to do it, and just keep watching film and just keep learning. What I hope to do is be a probation officer, you know. Uh, I'm studying criminal justice right now, so I'm just, you know what I'm saying, learning, you know, because at first I didn't know what to do, you know, because football was all I really knew. But, you know, just going to class and meeting with Carla, teaching me, you know what I'm saying, the stuff that I would, you know, see after I graduate. And that's just something I want to do, criminal justice, be a probation officer. Playing with a tornado warning, driving rain, and a thunderstorm hanging over Joe IA Stadium in Ruston, Louisiana. The Golden Eagles scored 26 points in the first half and held on for a 26-19 win over Louisiana Tech on November 12, 1988. Simi Carter, playing cornerback, started the game on a positive note for Southern Miss, picking off a Tech pass and returning it 42 yards for a touchdown. Although the Golden Eagle offense struggled in the second half, the defense held the Bulldogs to 10 points in the final two quarters to secure the victory and give Southern Miss a 9-2 regular season mark and a berth in the Independence Bowl. A 26-19 victory by the Independence Bowl-bound Golden Eagles on November 12, 1988 was without a doubt one of the great moments in Southern Miss football. Effort in here was what, what championship effort is like. Now carry that to practice, okay? Leaders lead, okay? Do not be complacent. Do not be okay, okay, with what we did yesterday. What was so attractive about Southern Miss was obviously the, the tradition of, of winning championships. Um, you know, being a player in Conference USA, um, on the other side, I'd never beat Southern Miss, so I knew uh, just the, the history of, of winning this place had. I knew the facilities, but, but really it came, came down to the people. Coach Todd Munkin, Bill McGillis uh, was just very impressed um, with their commitment 
to excellence uh, and who they were as men on my interview. And uh, I thought it was going to be a great fit, and it has been. My journey starts in Prattville, Alabama, uh, where I was born and raised. Went to Prattville High School. Uh, from there, went to UAB, played football. Um, was lucky enough to, to get a, a free agent deal with the Green Bay Packers after UAB. Stuck on the practice squad for the first 10 weeks. Uh, from there, was cut. Went to the New Orleans Saints practice squad. From there, went to the Baltimore Ravens. That's where I finally got activated. Um, and then I was cut the next year from the Ravens. I played in NFL Europe the Frankfurt Galaxy uh, for a little while. Uh, was signed by the Houston Texans out of Europe. Uh, and Houston was my last stop playing. And then, uh, then I got into my coaching career, which, which led me to uh, back to UAB, uh, to the University of Alabama, to Los Angeles, California, to the Green Bay Packers, to UAB, and now to here. So it's been a great ride. I've uh, been a lot of places. Um, and I'm uh, very thankful for all the opportunities that I've had. My passion for strength and conditioning was developed um, as a player um, and, and using that tool um, uh, to better myself. So the tool of training, the tools of nutrition, recovery, the tools of, of being mentally tough. Uh, and that helped me uh, level the playing field and really gain an edge over a lot of my opponents. Uh, I wasn't gifted with the most ability, but I used um, athletic performance and everything that comes with it to reach my goals. Uh, and it was a natural uh, passion and, and desire for me to want to do that as a profession and give back to student athletes what so greatly influenced me. Everybody is a product of their, their experiences and their environments and things that they read. And, and so my philosophy was really morphed as a young coach when I was coaching in Los Angeles, California. A guy by the name of Mark Verstegen who uh, was the owner and founder of Athletes Performance uh, and one of the kind of the pioneers of, of uh, movement-based training uh, was a mentor of mine and, and really um, taught me what movement-based philosophy was all about, what mindset, movement, nutrition, recovery was all about and how uh, together those four things can, can really complete an athlete uh, and, and help an athlete perform at the highest of levels. Of, Along the way, you know, I've had a lot of other um, inspiration, you know, from, from authors, whether it be the positive energy side, John Gordon, who, who's an author who I really follow from, from that standpoint. But um, definitely Mark Verstegen was a big influence upon me and the philosophy that, that, that we bring here to Southern Miss. We had excellent buy-in with our, with our student athletes in our program, you know, strength and conditioning wise. Just from the positive energy that, that we're bringing, um, we're, we're very demanding. Um, you know, we, we ask the most of them, uh, and they know that we care. Uh, the, the relationships that we've built as a staff with our athletes has been tremendous. Uh, they, they trust us, that, that we have their best interest uh, at heart, and we want the best for them. So in turn, the effort that has been put forth by our athletes has been amazing. Um, and, and that's the main thing. If we can, if we can play with tremendous effort um, and, and just have heart, uh, then, then we can we can be special. Southern Miss fans, show your pride with real Golden Eagles gear from the official online store, shop.southernmiss.com. You'll find everything a Golden Eagles fan needs, from jerseys to sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of Golden Eagles products, including official team merchandise from Russell, when it comes to Golden Eagles pride, there's only one place real Southern Miss fans go, shop.southernmiss.com. And once again, back on Southern Miss Sports Today with Coach Todd Munkin, presented by Bank Corp South. Well, Todd, just a minute ago, we uh, visited with uh, Zach Woodfin, your director of strength and conditioning, and the guy who has uh, really brought a, a new excitement to this uh, Golden Eagle uh, football team. Talk about how you found him and, and what he has done to try to help this uh, football team. Well, it probably started, you know, as, as we were getting ready to play UAB last year, I just... Uh, you know, you sat there and watched them warm up, and, and I just felt their energy. I just felt their team's energy when they warmed up. That probably started it. Uh, I'd made a decision at some point that I needed to make a change in our strength and conditioning. Uh, Mark Smith uh, did a really good job, worked hard, but it, it, 
wasn't what we needed. We needed to move forward um, and do a better job there, as we all did. And so I, I just remembered that part. I know UAB um, had come a long way. I knew they had better players, but I also knew that they were playing better together, more confidently. And uh, so, and when I, once I got a chance to interview him, it was it was a no-brainer. He was the one we wanted, um, and and it was the same with uh, Bill McGillis. We both saw it and said, "Hey, this is the direction we got to go." All right, Golden Eagles this week up in Huntington, West Virginia, to take on the Marshall Thundering Herd. They don't have the great quarterback Raheem Cato. He's graduated. He's gone. But they're off to a four and one start, and looks like a pretty good Marshall ball club. No doubt, and it, and the the troubles they had. Obviously, it's hard to replace that 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 player, and also the Schuler kid that played slot receiver for him. A lot of comfort. Those two guys had a great rapport, and they've been banged up at running back. You know, the Johnson kid and and the Watson kid's been banged up, so you're not as explosive. But uh, we expect them to be back this week, and then defensively, they're good as always. So it's going to be a real challenge for us, but. Uh, you know, we're significantly better and we're excited about going up there and seeing where we're at. And it's one of those places where they're awfully uh, tough to beat there in Huntington. They play with a lot of excitement, get a good crowd support up there, so that makes it tough to go up there. Oh, and it'll be fun. A national TV Friday night conference game, uh, two first place teams. Let's go, let's go get after it. As we do this show, uh, the team will leave on Thursday, so it's a short week for you. How does that factor in in your preparation to get ready for Marshall? Well, we sped it up a little bit um, with Monday uh, going out just a little bit. Normally that's the player day off. We're trying to get at least an hour helmet practice. Uh, so then our, our really our, our Tuesday out on the field will be like our Wednesday practice. Then on Wednesday we'll just shut it down and do a walkthrough, kick it back up Thursday morning and then get on the plane. So it's just basically your, their day off will be Saturday after we get back. Um, but really it's uh, a short week. It's, it's about what you do well and and putting your best foot forward. All right, well, we'll see you up at Huntington on uh, Saturday, and we'll see you here next week. Okay, John. All right, the Golden Eagles and the Marshall Thundering Herd, that's a 6 o'clock game on, I think I said Saturday. It's Friday night It's when the game is being played. Friday night at the 6 o'clock Central Time National TV, as Todd said. So, folks, uh, would be a big one for the Golden Eagles and the Thundering Herd up there in Huntington, Southern Miss, and Marshall on uh, Friday. 6 o'clock up in Huntington, West Virginia. Don't forget, Monday nights we're at Mugshots Grill and Bar in Hattiesburg for the Golden Eagle Hotline. Come on out, visit with us, and talk a little Golden Eagle football. That'll do it. Have a great week, everybody. See you next time right here with another inside look into Golden Eagle football. This edition of Southern Miss Sports Today with Todd Munkin has been presented by Bancor South, right where you are, and brought to you in part by the City of Hattiesburg. A proud sponsor of Southern Miss Athletics, UPS. From figuring it out to getting it done, UPS is here to help. Hattiesburg Coca-Cola. Want a taste of everything? Drink Coke Zero with real Coke taste and zero calories. This has been a presentation of IMG, America's home for college sports.